the NBC Commissary, and we'll start off right over here. We, uh, uh, this is Thursday, and it's the last day of our weekend. Uh, what we like to do on this day is address ourselves to the viewer mail, but before we do that, uh, we want you to meet Paul Schaefer and the gentleman in Paul Schaefer's band. Uh, Mr. Schaefer, would you mind introducing the folks? Thank you. Thank you, David. I'd be thrilled. i got to start with the drummer, okay. who is really a marvelous, marvelous kind of a human being. He plays with everybody. He produces, he writes, he does with whatever. Mr. Steve Jordan on drums, everybody. He's a child prodigy. On bass, a guy, I can only say one thing about him. Barry Manilow won't record without this man, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the best bass player in the world, Mr. Will Lee. On bass. And over on guitar over here, that's his camera right there, of course. Uh, a guy, he's, he's done everything. He uh, just came off the road uh, as Chaka Khan's musical director. Hell of a man, hell of a black guy. Mr. Hiram Bullock. <laughs> Hiram Bullock. And Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Schaefer and the world's most dangerous band. And, and I think that answers the question, is there a dress code at NBC? Um, at this time, we're going to read to you some of our viewer mail sent in to us over the last couple of weeks from you, the actual viewers. Letter number one comes to us from Jonathan Steele of Jersey City, New Jersey. It says here, <laughs> I think we've all had that trouble. Um, I've got an idea. Interview an animal expert, but don't ask any predictable questions. I understand there are some off-the-wall types employed at the Bronx Zoo. Typical question, what can the common man do to prevent or forestall the extinction of sewer rats? I have 19 more for sale. <laughs> Gee, ordinarily, I'd jump at the offer to buy that, but we already have a surplus of lousy ideas, Jonathan. Thank you, anyway. Letter number two comes to us from Charles E. Monahan, Portsmouth, Virginia. Letterman designates an honorable vocation of the world's letter carriers or mailmen. They are impartial as they make their daily deliveries, not pretending to know who may be elect or reprobate. I hope you will consider the importance of a name like David Letterman. I assume you have given the same attention to the name Monahan, mana from the Latin root manos meaning meat, hand from the ancient Greek root hannas meaning lunch, Monahan or lunch meat. No, we're just, we're just teasing here. Letter number three comes to us from George Capelbo, Capelbo. From Millbury, Massachusetts, George writes, let's say just for the sake of argument that your writers don't sleep behind the drugstore with a bottle of cheap vermouth, but are part of a sharp, highly trained, well-oiled comedy machine. How do you actually treat them? Like human beings or as lifeless joke bags that are discarded when emptied of all comedy? We treat them the same way we're treating this letter a lot more seriously than they deserve. Um, Letter number four comes from Roderick Carter, St. Louis, Missouri. I am a great fan of yours. I see you on television all the time. I like to watch you do magic. Will you send me a piece of your trash? Glad to, Roderick. We're returning your letter. Uh, finally, William J. Moon from Long Beach, California writes, I'm sure I have some good material and some brand new jokes that would help you. Let's have lunch together and talk. I am not very good at writing. Sure, Bill, just what I want to do, have lunch with a jokeless life bag. <laughs> Lifeless joke bag, that's it. Uh, coming up, Bob and Ray. <laughs> 